All right, so we're back with yet another video. Um, what we're going to be doing today, and let me get rid of this one talking here. What we're doing today is we're going to put a custom theme onto our Wii. Now, it's it's very easy to do, but it's very, very easy to brick your Wii. Um, I've never bricked a Wii before, and I just bricked my first one. Um, only because it was a bad CSM file, well, bad .mym file that I had downloaded, but luckily I had Preloader installed, so I was able to reverse it in, you know, less than a minute. So, make sure you have Preloader installed. If you don't have Preloader uh, pre installed, make sure you at least have uh, Boot Me selected to boot too, if you have that option. Okay, so anyways, what we're going to start out with first, we have to, um, I, I'm guessing the majority of you guys are on the 4.3 uh, system menu. Um, for me, it's 4.3U because I'm from the U.S. So, to start things off, um, we're going to need to use NUS Downloader. Now, also, I'll include this file in there as well. I don't even know why I clicked on that. Um, I need to get rid of some stuff here. Applications, my menu file. I'll have this um, in the description, you know, as a link along with the rest of it. So, NUS Downloader. So, make sure Wii is selected. You can choose between Wii and DS. Well, DSI. Those three need to be selected. So, easiest way to do this here, guys, database, system, system menu, scroll down here. So, I'll be selecting 4.3U. So, here we have that already. Also, um, actually, never mind, we don't even need to do that. So, start NUS download. Okay, so now that that's done, I've already got everything saved, so it's probably going to be like four sets of them. Should have created a titles folder right here. You may have to refresh, uh, you know, refresh the page titles. Yeah, as you can see, you know, it just did doubles of everything. So in particular, uh, if you're using the 4.3U like I am, we're going to be looking at this one right here. So copy don't drag and drop just copy and paste it okay keep that down here now what we need to do is we need to get a .mym file now uh, we theme creations that's where I've gotten all mine from I've already got it downloaded so we're just gonna go ahead head on over here to downloads really quick now here's the one that I ran into problems with um, I guess I could install it again and show you guys how to unbrick a Wii but maybe I'll do that in the next video so we're just going to do this right here. Use this uh, .mym file. So we're going to go ahead. Actually, we can just drag and drop that over. It doesn't even matter. You just want to keep that there in case it accidentally gets deleted. You don't have to go through that whole, um, you know, going through NUS downloader again. You can just select this .app file. Anyway, so the next thing we're going to need to use is the My Menu. That'll also be in the link, or uh, a link into the description. My Menu. Open it up. Source is going to be this .app file, so browse, desktop, app, mym file, browse, dark red, open, create my menu. Now like I said guys, make sure you've got that preloader installed because if you install a bad mym file, um, all you have to do is boot up preloader, go into uh, boot me, Go back to the homebrew channel, select my menu file, reinstall, um, you know, a different .csm file, and it'll bring your Wii back from the dead. If that doesn't work, you can always run a backup. But anyway, so we're just going to do red to Wii. Save. All right, now give me one second here. I do have to uh, reach over to the Wii and grab the SD card real fast. And now my Wii is already going to be red, but um, you guys will get the point. It's the exact, I mean, you know, walking you through everything except for clicking that OK button. So anyways, 
create a folder on the root of your SD card, label it CSM, all caps. I, it doesn't matter if it's all caps, but, you know, I did it anyways, just easy recognition. So that was the first one that I did, you know, I just labeled it Jake Wee because I'll remember what it went to because uh, my brother gave me this Wee. So that's a bad one. I think I might make another video and show you guys how to brick a Wee real quick. Red Wii 2. So now that that is on there, we are going to go ahead and jump over to the Wii really quick, and you'll see how badass this looks. So, uh, see you here in a second. Alright, so here we are back at the Wii. As you can see, here's the, uh, everything, you know, the menu I've already got installed, so it's pretty pretty cool looking. Now, little bit of information I left out in the last half of the video. Um, make sure you put the My Menu Fi in the Apps folder on your SD card. That way it'll pop up here in the Homebrew channel. So, I mean, you've already seen My Menu. I guess I'll show you how to install it. Oops. Exit. Man, meant to go up one level. Oh well. All right, so really easy. Make sure you guys make sure you have preloader installed. Can't stress that enough. I'll show you why you should have preloader installed. Here is the first .csm file I used to create this. Do you really want to install this? Uh, I kind of don't, but Okay, continue. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to have to get up, guys, because, uh, here we'll go ahead. Oh, you can't reboot it? That's cool. I guess we'll just click exit to system menu and see if it comes up with a brick or not. Which I think it should. Yeah, it definitely just did. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow. It works now. Huh. Strangest stuff all day. That's strangely odd. I just brick the Wii twice by shutting it down completely, which it recommends to do. Apparently this CSM just doesn't like me. So let's turn it off. Turn it back on and see if we come up with a brick or not. Okay, so there it goes, yep. Nothing's coming up on the screen, it is turned on right now. See, that's what I was talking about, so I'm guessing it must just be something with the boot on the .csm file that's uh, no good. So, I mean, it happens, it's easy to recover from. Um, as long as you have preloader, if you don't have preloader installed, there's no way for you really to get into the boot, you know, the boot me iOS. So, like I said guys, preloader preloader, preloader, preloader. So I gotta set the mic down for a sec so that I can go and uh, reset my Wii and boot into preloader so we can load that red theme back up and show you guys how easy it is to uh, unbrick your Wii if you've got preloader. So give me one second here. Alright, so to access Preloader, if you haven't watched my other video, make sure you've got the hacks.ini file at the uh, root of the SD card. Press the uh, power and reset button at the same time and hold them down. For some reason, Homebrew Channel won't launch from here, so... Oops, I almost pulled the Wii off there. Boot me iOS. The Homebrew Channel. I can set the GameCube controller down now. Alright, so we're back at the My Menu Fi. Okay, so we know to stay away from the one that uh, says Jake Wee there. So, we'll just go back to the one that I had.
continue. <coughs> okay, so now go ahead and shut it down. And this one actually has the boot file correct, so it'll boot back up. And so, I mean, that's basically the video there, guys. Um, there's really nothing else I really need to explain about the programs. You just need to know, you know, how to recover your Wii from a brick, because I guarantee it you're going to run into it at least once if you, you know, want to switch your theme a bunch. Uh, but like I just showed you, it's pretty easy to recover from that as long as you've got the right tools installed. So... Ending the video on a positive note, look at this badass screen. Yeah. So anyways, guys, if you liked it, you know, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm, you know, doing my best to upload as much as I can. But, you know, everybody has lives outside of YouTube, which is understandable. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see my new content. And, uh... Yeah, other than that, have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed.